Thank you, Mike. My name is Rob Alsop. I'm a native West Virginian, born and bred in Webster Springs, West Virginia. I'm a two-time graduate of West Virginia University with an undergraduate degree in political science and a law degree from our College of Law. Over the past five years, I've had the privilege of serving as the Vice President for Strategic Initiatives, helping President Gee and our Board of Governors chart a path for our university and helping our state. As we now know, the university has parted ways with Shane Lyons. For the next few weeks, I've been asked to serve, and it's a privilege for me to serve, as the Interim Director of Athletics while the university completes a national search for the next leader of our athletics department. We have already retained outside counsel, who in turn have helped us and we've retained turnkey ZRG to conduct the search. That search is already underway, and as our release indicated earlier, it's anticipated that we'll have a new athletic director within the next three to four weeks. Change is never easy, and uncertainty is difficult. With those facts in mind, President Gee asked me to share what my goals are for the next few weeks, and they're simple and straightforward. First, I'm going to do everything that I can to assist our staff and coaches in continuing to provide our student athletes with the resources they need to be successful both on and off the field. Second, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that the groundwork is established for our next athletic director so that she or he hits the ground running to be successful in their endeavors. Over the past several years, I want to note that I have worked with our team in athletics from Shane to Kelly, Steve, Simon, Matt, April, and a host of others, as well as engaging with our coaches. We have a great staff, and I'm looking forward to working with them and supporting them um, in any way that I can. I've been involved in some of the major planning for athletics, from capital projects to navigating through COVID and the decisions we had to make through that, and also involved in supporting, um, working with our partner in Learfield. I've got a working familiarity with the athletic department and with the help of our dedicated staff. I'm confident we'll continue the forward momentum over the next few weeks as we complete our search. I also want to hit on a couple of other thoughts. Um, no one has any position forever. I have my dream job, and hopefully it's not too soon, but sometime, someday, someone will take my position. Um, I hope that they'll celebrate all the good things that I have done but they'll also take an opportunity to see the world a little bit differently and see how they can improve upon the strong foundation I've built. I think that description is apt here. We have a strong tradition in the WU Athletic Department, and Shane certainly built on that. He is a good friend, um, a great man, and he was a good leader for our athletics department. I'm grateful for my friendship with Shane and all he did to elevate WU Athletics. Again, my goal is to prepare the path for our new athletic director take our strong foundation and build on it. Make no mistake, on with the great history that WVU has, all of our great facilities, our student athletes, our coaches, and our conference, and importantly, the terrific new deal that our leader, Brent Gormark, has negotiated. This will be a sought after job, and I'm confident we will find a terrific candidate to be our new leader. Finally, I know that our alumni, students, and fans would prefer to see different numbers in wins and losses. All of us are committed to making sure that we are successful both on and off the field. I like to win, I like to succeed. Whether it's Rhodes Scholars, Truman Scholars, GPA, graduation rates, helping with the state and with athletics, we like to succeed. We want to be driven and we'll continue to work towards that goal. I want to note that our student athletes are some of our brightest students we have on campus. As a department, our students have maintained a 10-year GPA streak with greater than 3.0 average and 341. That West Virginia University student athletes appeared on the Big 12 conferences Fall 21 commissioners honor roll and 40, 84, excuse me, 84 of those Mountaineers recorded a 4.0 GPA. That's something to celebrate. So we may remain committed to making sure that we have a culture of driven leadership and a competitive spirit that leads us to success and achievement here at WVU. We will ensure that our students have a wonderful learning experience and become better prepared for their life's purpose. It's a wonderful privilege for me to be a part of it. And I'll take some questions and coach. <laughs> <laughs> for that, well, I mean, start with the, the need for the transition. I'm not certain where you were in the decision-making process, but can you highlight the reasons why you guys had to feel to do it at this point in time? I will, and, and Gordon referenced it in his press release. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, the past few years of college athletics, um, I've seen a lot of change. Um, we've seen 
from portal to name, image, and likeness to another round of carpentry alignment. President Gee, in thinking about this, and um, decided that um, with this ever-changing landscape, it will be a good opportunity to find a fresh perspective for the program. And to reiterate, you know, Shane's been in here eight years, and he's done a lot of terrific things. Um, you know, if we all sing the same tune, there'll never be any harmony in this world. And so, you know, what I, what I can say is President Gee believed that a fresh perspective um, was appropriate at this time. Are you a candidate? I am not a candidate. Um, I, I love my job. Um, I'm a quick study, and um, I work well with the team at Athletics. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to work myself out of this interim position and back to strategic initiatives as soon as I can. Both candidates, obviously, still early in the process, but what, what, what will be their resume? What, what's important when you guys look for a candidate? So we've asked our search firm to cast a wide net for the best candidate for West Virginia University. And when you think about any type of leader, you want someone who um, knows, understands, appreciates the team that's here, the culture that's been developed, and that we continue on that trajectory of empowering individuals to do the best that they can. Um, we also want, and I think as President Gee indicated in the ever-changing landscape, um, someone who can continue to be innovative and thoughtful in an ever-changing world. And you know, from, from my perspective, you know, WB is a great place. Our strengths are, which I think are many, um, our brand, our history, our tradition. Um, we're, we are not, as you know, a major media market. There are some things where we have to punch above our weight class to be competitive. Um, and looking at additional revenue streams and innovation, and again, the ever-changing landscape of college athletics is something that um, we will be focused on in looking for our next leader. Obviously, uh, financial constraints, concerns are probably going to come into play with not only with maybe future moves down the road, this and that and the other. Um, can you can you tell me was there a buyout in Shane's uh, contract and what that information might be? Or? So there are provisions relating to Shane's contract with respect to terms of compensation. But um, I'm not going to get into the specific details um, of that. There are others at the university who um, can make that contract available at the right time, but I'm not going to get into the specifics of Shane's contract. And then can you share what the uh, firm will charge WVU for the, for the search? Uh, I will get that to you. I don't have it off the top of my head. I'll give you something incorrect, but I'm happy to get that information for you. So Rob, who makes the final decision on the new hire? Are you involved? Is this all President E? Where's this line? So President Gee, um, under our governance structure, will be the one who is ultimately responsible for hiring an athletic director. Um, he's someone who, um, you know, um, a big, um, long sort of process and, and procedures. He's, he's someone who, he's going to engage with the appropriate stakeholders and go out and get the best candidate he can find, and he'll go through that process. Um, I, I will be privileged to take part in it, but it will be his decision. Yeah. Um, um, if I can just pick on what you said here a little bit, you mentioned a couple times the ever changing landscape. Um, I think you have an idea of it, but maybe it has your concern about maybe shortcomings or opportunities in the future for you. What, what is that, and how has it affected what we all have chosen to do here? Well, so, you know. Um, I think from a big picture perspective, I've hit on what some of those are in um, how um, the world of college athletics goes. And it's a matter of looking at those macro level factors that um, the president decided um, to bring in that fresh perspective. And I'll leave the details of um, the specifics of that strategy to President Gee and the new AD. How did you get, how did, you know, how did you get to the timeline of three to four weeks? Is that um, you know what the goal is, or is that kind of what the kind of standard, I guess, is time? So, in um, discussions with um, our search firm, we think that's it, it may be longer, um, but we think this will be a sought-after position, and that hopefully we will identify the best candidates and.
come to a resolution moving forward. As I've indicated, I, um, I am happy to step in and help lead a great team, um, but moving to um, that person who's going to chart that course um, on a time that we can do it and make sure we've got the best candidate, we think we can move quickly. Has the university worked with this search firm before? This search firm was retained by the Big 12 Conference in the search for Commissioner Yormark. And so President Yee has a working familiarity with the, with the team. Um, I'm not aware of whether there's been any, any other work with the university. Take us through the uh, uh, process of, in your mind, uh, the, day, the day when they said we can be interested in this, and, and from there, you know, what you went through to make that decision. Well, you know, over the past um, few days, um, you know, the president asked, and um, I told him that if he needed me to do it, that I would. Um, when um, the position I'm in at the university, I'm really fortunate to work with our Board of Governors. Um, I have at least helped facilitate when we've had a big decision we need to make for, for through. And so I think, I don't want to speak for President Gee, but at least I have a working familiarity with the folks in athletics um, to be helpful over, over this process. But it was, you know, President Yee is, is, is our leader and I'll do anything I can to help him and the university move things forward. When you, when you found out you were going to, when you said, okay, I'm going to take this, uh, go to your wife or uh, go, yeah, to, go so, to your family, go to... So I talked with my wife um, and she was very supportive. Um, I will say that, um, um, so yesterday, you know, um, when I was talking to my kids a little bit about what might happen, um, you know, I thought my, I might, they might say, well, I want tickets to the game, or I want these types of things. So, but my kids are aggressive dreamers, and so my middle daughter, who's a sophomore at MHS, and a basketball and a softball player said, well, Dad, if you're in charge, this is the perfect time to start a women's softball program at WVU. And so I said, you know, um, that's a hot bar for, for a matter of a few weeks. So we had fun with it um, as a family. You know, I've told them that, um, you know, this is going to be hard. Um, I'm good friends with Shane. Change is never easy. There's a lot of folks in the athletic department who um, are, are sad um, because of their relationship with Shane. And so... My family knows the next few weeks for me, I'm going to be, be burning the candle at both ends to help serve all those dedicated folks, and we're, we're in good shape. Might as well look into a men's track program. <laughs> I'm sure the list will grow. Well, what's your next week to 10 days going to look like on your schedule? Yeah, so this morning I've already met with, um, had an all-staff meeting by Zoom, just so that they could get to know me a little bit and talk through where we are. Um, I then had a subsequent meeting with our um, senior leadership in the athletic department to ask what I needed to do to be supportive of them. Um, I've turned over my calendar to the folks in athletics so that they can get me on the important meetings that I need to do. Um, I've asked to sit down with um, our leader of compliance um, and um, human resources to make sure that I'm up to speed on all the issues. What I've told our folks that if there's something that our team needs, um, or a meeting that I need to sit up, be moving forward on, that I'll be present to be a helpful um, force for them. I, I will, as I think I mentioned to Coach Hunter, I'll also be involved in the search process, and so that, that'll take up some of my time. It's going to be spending time with the people who run the department and being supportive of them. How were uh, other members of the athletic department, uh, coaches, assistant coaches, uh, informed? When were, were, when were they informed? And you know, like what were some other reactions? So generally speaking, um, I just want to reiterate this again, Shane is a great guy. And so I think there was um, a level of sadness and shock, but I also think there's a reality of, of college athletics and no job is, is forever. And so I think everybody's seeking to process this. And it was late last night and then, then this morning that some of those discussions were had. Do you anticipate having to make a call on the current football staff while you're in the position, or does that hold until you get a new full-time director in place? Yeah, so um, the I know there'll be some speculation that this is the first shoe of two shoes to drop, and I just want to disavow that this is an, this is an independent um, decision, and I'll, I'll, I'll go about this way. You know, when you watch the game this weekend, uh, it was pretty clear, and whether it's 
you know, the spark with Garrett or what Sam James did or Dante in the defense, um, those student athletes, those kids have not given up on each other or on this season, and they have not given up on their coaches, um, and neither have we. Um, we have not given up on our head coach, our assistant coaches, or those players. We've got two games to go, um, and we intend, and I intend, during this interim period to support them in any way that I can. Um, as you might imagine, when a new athletic director comes in, um, that individual will do an evaluation of the general direction for the department. And, you know, the only thing I'll say is we're all, we are not, we are all um, not satisfied with the wins and losses. But President Yee and our new athletic director, you know, will take an appropriate long-term look at the direction of all of the Department of Athletics and make a thoughtful decision moving forward. And so that's, um, that's where we are right now um, going forward. Um, I did talk to Neil um, late last night um, and reiterated that same message. I know that's on everybody's minds, but they are, they are, they, they are not tied together from a faith perspective um, moving forward. Kind of my question to be aligned. Um, sure. I imagine this was not a quick or easy decision. Just when did an evaluation and some sort of conclusion to get the reason better sign? And then that three to four week period, why is that book end so significant as far as the timeline ending goes? Well, so I think, you know, over the past you know, several weeks, we've all been disappointed with sort of wins and losses. and. If you know President Gee, he's always looking towards an eye of the future as to the way to move the best the way to move the institution forward. Um, I'm not going to get into it a lot more than that, and this has been over the past, you know, few days that um, this has really become a serious, serious consideration of, of the need to to move forward. Um, you know, President Gee is very thoughtful, but he's also action oriented, and so this isn't a you know a six month plan or anything like that. Um, we're thoughtful, but we try to be strategic. And to be honest, you know, we're um, after the decision was made. Again, I'm happy to play the role, but um, you know, there are a lot of professional folks out there who know athletics far better than I. And so, you know, getting someone in um, as quickly as we can, thoughtfully as can, is as we can, is a is a goal for us. Well, I think there's a lot of things that have um, changed. And so in the past eight years, we've seen um, comfort tree alignment. We've seen a number of court cases that have changed the um, dynamic as it relates to the opportunities for our student-athletes.